This video is sponsored by Skillshare. Hello, my friends. So in today's video, I'm going to be showing you how you can take your scene from Blender and import it into Unreal Engine. Okay, my friends. So there's actually two ways of doing this. There's the quick way and there's the correct way. I'm going to show you both options. So the quick way is as followed. As you can see, I'm currently in Blender. This is the scene that I want. I'm going to exit this view. I'm going to disable all of my cameras from my outliner. I'm then going to press A to select everything. I'm going to go to file export fbx i'm going to press this cog to open my settings i'm then going to go to path mode and change this to copy and then hit this icon here this will enable all textures from my scene will be embedded into my fbx file then i'm going to limit it and click selected objects only i'm going to press object types enable mesh only i'm going to scroll down open up geometry go to smoothing and change it to face then i'm going to rename it and press export fbx Okay, my friends, so this scene has been exported into FBX. The next thing you need to do is open up Unreal Engine 5. So here we are in the Unreal Project Browser. We're going to go to Games, navigate to Blank. We're going to use the Blank template. We're then going to type in a project name that we want. Make sure Starter Content is disabled and Ray Tracing is disabled. We do not need Ray Tracing because we're going to be using Lumen for Unreal Engine 5, which is absolutely beautiful. And also by disabling Starter Content, we'll be able to open up the project much faster. So once you've done all of those things, press Create. Okay, so your Unreal Engine 5 has finally opened. You might see any plugins enabled, just dismiss it. Project file is out of date, that's fine. Press update, it will update it really quickly. Perfect, as you can see, it's already put us in the scene, but we don't actually want this. So navigate to file, new level, go to basic, press create. Here we have our basic level. You're gonna see a ground plane here. We don't actually want it. So click onto it and then press delete. Okay, now we need to import our FBX file that we've just exported. So press control space bar. You can press the import button here and navigate to your FBX file, or you can simply drag in your FBX file. You'll then be greeted with this FBX import options. So you're going to enable build nanite. This will ensure that your mesh has the highest quality. You're going to scroll down. Import textures should already be checked because we've copied our textures and embedded them into the FBX file. So you don't need to worry here. Make sure it creates the new materials for you. And then after that, you should be set. So press import all. Okay, so finally, mine has finished importing. You may get a few errors. Do not worry, honestly, it's not going to affect you in any way. Just exit it. And now if I go back to my content browser or control space, you can see I have all of my meshes here. So all you need to do is click onto the first mesh, hold down shift, click onto the last mesh. And then you can just drag it into your scene. And it's going to take a few seconds. But after that, I'm using the WASD keys. You can see... <laughs> I actually have the scene that I had in Blender. Just like that, you have your scene from Blender into Unreal Engine 5. And from here, what I would actually do is go to this icon here in the top left, press create camera here, Cine camera actor. I would then press perspective and change it. So we're looking through the Cine camera actor. I would then go and click Cine camera actor in our outliner. I'll change it from 16 by nine digital film to 16 by nine DSLR. So I get more shadow depth fulfilled. Scroll down, I'll change the focal length to something like 35 mil. And then I'm gonna go and I'm gonna change the focus distance. Now, let me explain why this is the quick method and not the correct method. If I click onto one of these meshes, you can see <laughs> that the origin point is actually nowhere near close to the mesh. Again, if I click any of these objects, the origin point is nowhere near close to this mesh. And that's because Unreal Engine actually calculates the pivot of an object by Blender's world origin. Okay, so how do we fix this? There's actually two ways. The first way you can fix it is within engine here. So this is the pivot point for this mesh. What you could actually do is hold down Alt and press your middle mouse button and move the gizmo so it's close to your mesh. Then I'm gonna right click, go down to pivot and click set as pivot offset. Now, if I click onto the mesh, you can see that this is the new pivot point, but this is actually time consuming and if you have loads of buildings like I do here, it can get very time consuming and it's not very practical. So let me show you the correct way of exporting from Blender into Unreal Engine 5. But before we do that, this video is sponsored by Skillshare. Thank you Skillshare for sponsoring today's video. Skillshare, my friends, is an online community with thousands of inspirational classes that you can use to deepen your knowledge and your creativity. Whether you wanna learn a new skill, a craft, or maybe even just find a new hobby, there are premium classes that are launched every week 
So there's always something new to discover. I'm actually taking this course by Steven Pearson and it's create and design a modern 3D house in Blender 3.0. And that's because I'm looking to redesign the interior of my house. So I'm brushing up on my architectural skills and it's going pretty well to be honest. So my friends, if you'd like to check out Skillshare, the first 1000 people to use the link in my description box or the code Brandon Arc will get one month free trial of Skillshare. Thank you Skillshare for sponsoring this episode. And without further ado, my friends, let us get back to the video. Okay, welcome back. So the next steps are actually very simple. We're going to press A and this will enable us to select all of our mesh pieces. We're going to right click. We're going to set the origin to the center of mass. Now with this, you can see that all of our origin points are currently in the middle of all of our objects. The second step we need to do is press shift and S and it's going to open this pie menu. We're then going to go selection to cursor. And this is going to snap all of our geometry into the center of Blender's world origin. But as you can see, since we've only snapped the pieces to the world origin, the rotation is actually off axis and it's not calculated correctly. So there's a few things we can do to fix it. The fastest way is to press Alt and R and this will reset the rotation of the object. So then I can rotate the objects again, 90 degrees on the X axis. And as you can see, it is much straighter. If you wanted to reset the scale, you press Alt and S and it will reset the scale. Once you have those things done, you are ready to export back into Unreal Engine. So again, we're going to use the exact same export settings. Make sure you have all of your pieces selected. Go to File, Export, FBX. Make sure your options are open. Path Mode, change Path Mode to Copy. Press this icon here to copy the textures. Selected Objects Only. Object Types Mesh. Scroll down to Geometry. Go from smoothing, go to face and then export your FBX. Okay, so here we are back in Unreal Engine. I'm going to go up a folder and I'm just going to create a new folder. I'm going to call this. From here, I'm going to import the FBX that I just saved out. And again, I'm going to build a nanite, scroll down, make sure it imports the materials and then import all. Okay, it is successfully imported. I'm just going to turn around, open the content browser. As you can see, we are in the correct method folder. Now, if I drag one of these pieces, you can see that the pivot point is correct it's in the center where we want it and we can easily set up our objects and place them in space as we want without having the pivot point be absolutely crazy now the only downside to this method and why it isn't quick is because you're going to have to actually rearrange your scene again <laughs> all right my friends if you like this video please share subscribe comment and like if you found this method useful then please let me know in the comments below and if you want me to make another tutorial like how to import marvelous designer clothes into unreal engine 5 then let me know in the comments below